the creature that now threatened the hill. If one raging beast was not enough, surely two were. second beast became motionless. The poor creatures, twisted by the corruption, were finally able to rest. A path to be cleared of the corruption, and the jewel of life to be restored, the realm of Anea Dyer, mother of beasts and the goddess of waters. Before embarking for the spirit halls, family must be informed of the newly opened passage. The goblin siblings lay dead, and the pilgrims were now safer in their caves. But the last step remained to be taken. The warriors knew only that somewhere in the expanse of the caves was the ancient halls of the spirit who would reveal new truths to them. Whenever he could find time, Mark was reading about herbs and salves, his interest in medicine inherited from his grandmother. The first guest to be summoned, Anai Daya, was to be found in the darkest depths of the Keldipo Caves, for a spirit to leave her domain, though, was no simple task. Dizzy, nauseated, feverish, the Bergson's mind unsettled from the incremental rise of the corruption. No longer were even they immune to its ill effects. 